Former politician and chairman of All India Anti-Terrorist Front, MS Bitta, has come down heavily on legal advisor of Sikhs for Justice, Gurpatwan Singh Pannun, alleging him for bringing disgrace to the Sikhs. U.S.-based Pannun, who runs a pro-Khalistan campaign called Referendum 2020, is engaged in radicalizing, funding and motivating gullible youths of Punjab into committing acts of arson and violence. He is alleged to be backed by Pakistan's spy agency, the Inter-Services Intelligence. Bitta accused Pannun of collecting funds at the behest of Islamabad and using it for spreading venom amongst the Sikh diaspora. He, however, said that all of their anti-India agenda had suffered a massive failure. These people were there, there were no thousands of people. People were waiting for people. And here, after the UK and the Ambassy, I was standing up with 12-13 thousand Sikh youth and put them on them. If you don't want to come to Hindustan, come to Hindustan, I'll tell you. What are you doing there? ISI agenda, we're doing funding, we're doing a lot of people. We're doing a lot of people. We're doing a lot of the world's Sikh. In a reference to the waving of Khalistani flags during a match in the recently concluded Cricket World Cup in the UK, Bitta said that those people who gathered no traction amongst the Sikh community were hungry for publicity. On being asked about Pakistan's agenda on Kartarpur Corridor, Bitta said that Islamabad cannot indoctrinate loyal Sikhs of Punjab and no pure devout can be lured into its sinister designs. वो खालिस्तानी नहीं है वहाँ पे वो सारे आईएसआई के एजेंट हैं आईएसआई के इशारों पे चलते हैं आपकी आस्था गुरु महाराज करतारपुर के प्रति संचियर है पाकिस्तान हो या ये खालिस्तानी समर्थक हो तो फिर आप गुरु महाराज की विचारधारा के साथ उनकी आस्था के साथ यहाँ के लोगों को बढ़का करके गुरु महाराज की आस्था के साथ धोखा नहीं करोगे Pakistan-sponsored militants in the late 1980s and early 1990s claimed hundreds of innocent lives in Punjab. However, extraordinary efforts of government and security forces succeeded in restoring peace in the state. Since then, it is on the path of development and has become one of the most prosperous states of India.